Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Lenovo IdeaPad V130. Okay guys, so it's actually pretty easy to open this laptop up. I've got it uh, face down and I've got the hinge side facing away from me here. Uh, all you're going to need is a small Phillips screwdriver and something like a guitar plate drum or maybe an old credit card that you can use to just pry some of the plastics away. Uh, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw here, which is just next to the Lenovo label. Now if like me you haven't got a screwdriver with a magnetic head, what you'll then need to do is just flip the machine over and give it a wiggle until that screw falls out. And what this screw holds in place is the CD drive here. So we're going to go ahead and slide that out. And now what we need to do is undo the rest of the screws. So we have four at the front here. We have four at the back. We have one at either side, one in the middle, and then we have two different little grub screws down here at the side. So we'll go ahead and remove those. So these two screws here are a slight different size. They can be slightly tricky to get out. They have very, very thin or short threads on them. But once they're out, just keep those to one side because those two are different than the rest of the screws. Uh, now you might find some of the ones on these deep recessed holes again may not have come out. So the best thing to do is just uh, turn the machine upside down and give it a little wiggle. And you'll find that those screws just drop out of the machine. Now with all the uh, screws removed, the next thing to do is to take our little plastic tool, my guitar plectrum or maybe your credit card, and just around the edge between the, um, the base part of the, the machine and the, and the rest of the chassis, just slip that in there and you'll find a series of plastic clips. It may be easier if we just unfold the laptop like this. So the bottom part's in the air. And then you can just get that little tool in there and pry away at those clips. And you'll find that once they start to go, you'll find they get progressively easier to pop off. And once the majority of them are off, you can then fold the laptop back down and you'll find that the base panel will just lift off. So let's talk a little bit about what we have under here. Uh, I can see there's a little bit of glare from the camera because of my light there, but hopefully you can see okay. So this black section here is the battery. And the first thing we should always do when working on a machine like this is disconnect the battery. And we're gonna do that to avoid hurting ourselves or damaging the device. Uh, so this section here is our motherboard. We can see here we've got our M.2 storage, which on this model is a SATA drive. We have our Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth. We have the cooling solution for our processor. And then under this panel is our RAM chip, which we are going to be able to upgrade our RAM by removing. Now, uh, I'd recommend you only do this once when it actually comes time to upgrade your machine. Uh, the reason being it's only held down with super glue uh, and if you contaminate the glue too much with your fingers you'll find that it may not want to go back down. Now if you find yours doesn't want to go back down what I would suggest is a little bit of super glue contact adhesive onto maybe this strip here and this component here should stick it back down. So we'll peel that off and out of the way put that to one side and you can see underneath we've got our processor here with our heat pipe that goes off to our cooling solution and then we have our RAM chip here. Now over here we have a, a caddy for a hard disk and then this is the space where our optical drive was. So let's talk about upgrading the RAM first. So this model comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. It has four gigabytes built into the motherboard and a four gig chip here. Now this can be upgraded with a, up to a 16 gigabyte chip here giving you a total of 20 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, now the way you remove this is you just 
pull outwards on these two little latches and you'll see that the chip pops upwards and then you just hold it by the edges and pull it backwards and it'll come out. Now I'll put some links in the video description to uh, suitable upgrades for this machine. So uh, if you're looking to upgrade the RAM, go ahead and check those out. Uh, similarly with the SSD here, if you did want to remove this, there's a little screw here. So we just undo that screw. And you'll find that the drive pops upward and then you just grab it by the edges and pull straight back. And again, I'll put some links in the video description so you can see suitable upgrades for this drive as well. To put it back in, you just push it back in until it sits in there. And then apply a little bit of pressure to the edge and replace the screw. Now over on this corner of the machine, we have this two and a half inch caddy, which will take any two and a half inch hard disk or SSD. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. To do that, we've got one screw on each corner. And these are a different size screw to the casing screw, so make sure you keep them separate. And if we just lift that up and flip it over, you can see in this example, because there is no drive included, they've put a piece of foam in just to keep the connector in place, and they've given us some mounting screws uh, as well, which you can just see shining there. So I'll go ahead and pull those out. And then we'll carefully remove that foam, making sure not to damage the connector or the ribbon cable. And then what we can do is take any two and a half inch drive. So this is just a little 240 gig SSD that I keep lying around. We're going to put it label down into the caddy and then we're going to line up the holes on the side with the holes in the drive and then we'll use those silver screws just to mount it in place. And with those in place, all we have to do is take the connector, line it up carefully with the drive, a little bit of pressure just to stick it on, and then carefully flip that over and line it up. You might find you need just a little bit of pressure because there's some foam pads underneath here so if it doesn't feel like it's clicked into place, don't worry. Just hold it gently. And then using the original screws, just screw it down. And I'd suggest uh, putting each of the screws in loosely. Just a couple of turns on each one. just to make sure that they all locate properly. And then when all four are in, you can go ahead and just tighten them all down. Now we're ready to put the thing back together. So we've got our new RAM in place. We're gonna put our little shim back on. So we need to make sure that the markings on it glue markings line up with the original components. There's a large one here that goes over the processor, one on the heat pipe, one on a capacitor here, and then there's a strip that goes on to the memory card slot. And the last thing to do, please don't forget this step guys, before you put everything back together, just reconnect your battery, because there's nothing worse than getting the whole thing back together and realizing that uh, you've not plugged the battery back in. Uh, so with that, we just have to put the thing back together, which is basically the same process in reverse. So we'll just put the plastic cover back on, apply some gentle pressure around. You can hear those plastic clips locating, locking back into place. And 
And with all those in place, the next step is to put all the screws back in. So I'm going to start off with the screws for the drive. On the side there. And then go ahead and put all of the casing screws back in. And as with the hard disk caddy, I recommend that you put them all in loosely just to make sure they all locate before tightening them all up. And now with all of the screws apart from the CD drive screw in place, last thing to do is just pop the CD drive back in and then put that last screw back in place. And there you have it. We have successfully upgraded the Lenovo V130. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you've got any questions, please drop them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs down. And please consider subscribing to see more videos like this on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.